Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all appropriate supervised ages outside the dilapidated Castle Grayskull, in front of the Holiday Blues Field, Snake Mountain, in the Hobo Jungle, I bring to you another Reno McDallas Review. How are you? Hope your holidays were wonderful, fantastic, and pleasant. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and start with uh, this Elvira I got. There we go. Here's the back of that. I ain't reading it to you. And anyway, so go ahead and pop that open. Alrighty, so here we go. Here's this. Um, as you can see, this is not the same figure out of that box. Just mentioned with you. Uh, shout out to this. Lonnie just had his birthday. Well, he would have been... Uh, that would require math. But anyway, this is one of his old figures he had gotten from the comic book store here in Mount Vernon. I was there. I got me one too. But God knows what happened to that. Probably one of the times Mom threw stuff out. Uh, anyway... So here is this Elvira. Okay. Here is her winky head. There we go. Look at that. Got a giant hair bun. Okay. Looks very much like her. Um, if you know me, you know that I've got a bad experience with her. Uh, I met her at Wizard World one year, and uh, I was trying to tell her that I, my mom had gotten me a, uh, a cardboard stand-up of her from a Miller Lite a promotion the ga local gas station used to give uh you know standees and stuff away well my mom worked at a nursing home and they gave it to her so they'd have a uh, decorations for their little haunted house they'd do and invite you know the young ones in and the what have you, you know just try and be uh try to donate and have help out with that so anyway i got to keep it after that halloween had it for several years but anyway i was trying to tell her that i had that and she's like, oh, no, you stole that. They didn't do da-da-da. And it was just like she was lecturing me about that. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? And anyway, so it just was kind of kind of sucked. It was like, my mom's not a thief, and I ain't either. My mom is many things, but not a thief. Same here. So anyway, and there are those. And now that I have a bad story about her, let's get the good story right there. There you go. And there's your booty. Oop. What? Oh, what? Oopsie too hot for youtube um i didn't expect that <laughs> oh dear oh uh i'm gonna blur that even though there aren't nips and uh i don't need to there aren't nips right so you don't think i have to whatever anyway um oops <laughs> wardrobe malfunction only elvira okay and uh speaking of that happy uh, 100th birthday to stan lee huh hey that's a <laughs> that's a good segue okay so uh we'll go on to other Fabulous and beautiful women's. We have, I know these are like older toys, but I'm just kind of showing you my Christmas haul here. So I never got to get one of these Wonder Women, Wonder Woman. So I got it. And let's see what she looks like. You know, I am slightly embarrassed about even telling that Elvira story and then following up with those boobs, but uh, that's just kind of the way it goes. <laughs> I apologize for anybody that, to anybody that's offended, but uh, that's, that's life. Here, that, that, any, that any better? I make things better? Okay, so Wonder Woman has this wonderful lasso. She also has this wonderful lasso. Not to be confused with wonderful asshole. Uh, I'll probably glue this on her later. But anyway, there's that. Okay, there's her articulation. Ooh, no, not toes. Oh, well. No big deal. She's going on a stand. To probably going to sit on uh, Lonnie's ashes there. He was a Wonder Woman fan as well. He liked them strong women's. Hmm, a little head. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, I got a bunch of clearance stuff here. First of all, I didn't expect to see this on clearance. Throne Room Boba Fett. Got him for 11 bucks. That's awesome. So, uh, there's all that noise. Okay. Okay, the Fat Man comes with his uh, backpack that has jets. <sighs> Rest in peace. MC Chris's career. Man, he was uh, a lot of fun there for a little while, wasn't he? Uh, let's see here. There's that. I'm just saying all kinds of hateful and controversial things on the show tonight that nobody will see anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, okay. And then here is your helmet. Very nice. That's pretty cool. So let's get him all holstered up and everything. Did I have too much clearance eggnog to get this job done? Yes. Yes, I did. Anyway, um, I'm going to glue that on later, but, uh, and throw it on here so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, so, uh, oh, shit. Keeps falling right off. Anyway, 
do it in front of the camera so the next time when it falls off, at least you see it for a second, huh? Yeah, <laughs> a missile launching jet pack. Instead, it's just a launching jet pack. Okay, there you go. I couldn't get the gun to hold. You know me, though. Hey, at least it went in the holster easy, though. Okay, and I finally got a hold of these guys that were on clearance, and I wanted them. So I wasn't going to pay full price because I had heard mixed things, and nobody's ever really given me a full answer. They're like, oh, just keep it in the package. So we're going to go ahead and pop these out uh, just to see, you know, kind of as a cheaper alternative if you're like me and don't have many of the superpowers, fellas, but, you know, you still want some. So, okay, I'm going to pop these open. Okay, so... I heard some people say these things felt hollow. Um, no, not really. I don't. I don't think they feel cheaply made at all. They kind of. They remind me of the others. They're not exactly. I guess I don't hide, hold them as in high regard because I mean it's not an actual. It's a remake, you know. It's still great though. I love it. Um, the the complaints I did hear about the capes being kind of like feel like a ribbon. They do. They do feel like a ribbon, but uh, you know. If texture is what's bothering you about this, that's the only thing that's really... That, if that's the only thing holding you back, don't worry about it. Get it. It's a nice representation. A little bit off on some of the size there, I think, but uh, that's still pretty good. And uh, I remember having the Superman when I was a kid, and so did my cousin Josh, and his dad put a twist tie through there uh, on the collar so his, he wouldn't keep losing his cape. Not a twist tie, a, a zip tie. So that's how we knew which Superman was whose, because he said the zip tie cape. So anyways, um, all those happy and weird and unfortunate memories, which I, again, apologize for, because uh, I made it weird. I always make it weird, though, don't I, baby? That's why you watch. Because, you know. Anyway, so you watch for this, actually. So let's see if any of these figures are worthy of the title of greatest action figure ever by breaking down the door to Castle Grayskull. Are you ready? All right. No. No. Oops. No. No. No, no, happy 100th stand, and okay, so that's, uh, that's everything, guys, uh, weird episode, um, I don't know what the next one's gonna be, if it's gonna be the Sky Striker, if it beats, uh, some of the stuff I've got ordered coming in or not, so, anyway, thanks for watching and listening to me, and, uh, don't let my story, uh, scare you away from meeting her, maybe she just had a bad day or misunderstood me, so, uh, there we go, so there and that's the last of truth on me right there. That is absolutely how I feel. So, all right, anyways, guys, be good to yourselves. And remember, free the figs. Oh, yeah, in case I don't see you, Happy New Year.